Cyrus Pattinson, congratulations. You told me this week you'd only be satisfied once you'd done your ring walk and actually stepped through the ropes. How would you sum up your emotions after that tonight? I'm just happy to get to the ring, man. Honestly, it's, uh, it's been a long process. Like I've, like I've trained for a lot of fights and mostly I've spent a lot of time away from my family. Uh, there's a lot of people in my family so far we've lost. Mothers, dads, sons, daughters, uncles, aunties, best friends. So going from one train camp into another, like it's kept me away from them, do you know what I mean? And I know there's people in my family that probably wanted us and needed us, do you know, and I couldn't be there for them. So the glory goes to them, like, and I know they'll take a lot of satisfaction and uh, a lot of enjoyment from tonight, so it's all for them. Well said. Like I say, a fair bit a bad fortune to lose two fights between the weigh-in and fight night, unheard of, really. What have you done to stay positive during those tougher times? To be honest, like, there's not a lot I could do, like, because... I mean, there's, like, like I say, my family and people outside, a lot of people are struggling, so if I kind of stay positive over a fight, it's not really much of a symbol for hope for other people, do you know what I mean? So it's just boxing at the end of the day and there's people that are losing lives, health, mental health, some decline across the board. So it's just pulling through for them. Well said, Cyrus. Let's uh, have a little chat about the fight. Dimitri Trinell represented a decent step up on paper, 8-0. Uh, How did you assess him, the fight, and, and your own performance as well? Do you know what I'll say? I just left a lot with me, me coaches. I knew that I wanted to step up, I wanted to make a bit of a statement. And we had, to be honest, we had two fighters pull out. Previously, one was 10-0 ten, ten undefeated, and the other one was a really good record. So we struggled to get a fight, and I, wanted, I, wanted, I knew it was game because he took the fight. Uh, so... The things that I've been working on in the gym, it just gives us an opportunity, obviously, from when one camp finished, when one fight fell through, I just carried on and keep building the momentum. Like so, it was it was hard to it was hard to stay enthusiastic, and obviously, you get it a bit deflated, but you just got to brush it off and keep book, keep going. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, I, I proved it at night. You were clearly using all that amateur experience just to gather data on Trinell when they're using your feints and, and that lead hand as well. Once you got into your rhythm, spiteful, uh, clearly, as I say, yeah. a bit of frustration coming out there. Definitely, it's just asking them questions, isn't it? When you're fainting, see what kind of... He was trying to catch it, so I knew it would be open around for the hook. And if I was fainting low, he was bringing his hands down, so I knew I could switch it up at the top. Just setting them little traps, I mean, because when you go in them four-rounders or six-rounders, it's kind of compressed and surmising it very early on. So give us an opportunity to just set things up. And obviously, once I did get the shot through, it was, it was game more fight, fighting and shots in it. And always nice to get a stoppage. Lovely. <laughs> uh, there's many cliches uh, that are used and thrown around all the time, Cyrus, but maybe one of the more commonly used ones by fighters is the better opponent in front of me, the better performance you'll see yeah. from yourself. Is that one that you, you think re does reign true for you? And how important is it that you don't go backwards from this point? It is, yeah. Like, I mean, you've got to respect your opponent, whoever it is. I mean, you can't go into a fight. I've done it before in amateurs, and that's why I'm so thankful that I learned them lessons then, do you know what I mean? When, you, when you're going into a fight thinking that's going to be easy and you need to switch on all the time and my coaches remind us all the time that you need to, no matter who's in front of you, you need to be shot from the off and then you can adjust from there. So I was going into that fight, I knew it was game and obviously it was. I mean, I caught my good couple of shots early on and I mean, the second round, you try to, try to rush us a little bit. So I knew the gaps, I didn't have to look for them too much. Give a couple of daft little shots away, but like you say, it's just settling down. It's an eight round fight now. I can afford to lose a round, even a round. But it's just, uh, I mean, once I hurt him, he curled up and I knew that as soon as I it was, it was just catch and counter and I would find the gap and that was it, it was over. Very vocal at the press conference about wanting a 10 round title fight next. Yeah. Has Charlie Sims and Eddie been able to reassure you that they can deliver that? They have, uh, I think this is my last fight of my contract. We've kind of renegotiated and I'm going to step into a new contract. Uh, now, hopefully, obviously, Eddie's seen what, he's, what he wanted to say. And I want to push on, I want to be challenged. Like, like I said, tonight was the first time I've been really excited and motivated for a fight. Uh, and I think that was obviously down to... Like, you feel a lot more pressure when you fight like the journeyman because it's, it's an opportunity to slip up or for a banana skin. And it's, a, it's, a, it's harder to look impressive and to do the things that can make you look a bit... Because they're tricky, like, very experienced. So, I mean, tonight, like, was I was really, really up for it, and I'm going to be really up for the next one. Obviously, a title fight would be due to come true. And with that new deal, with, with a title fight, how's the confidence now then after that tonight? Are you excited for your future with Matchroom? 
very excited and hopefully match room is excited for the future with me we certainly are a little uh, little pint to, to celebrate that tonight maybe he's all a Dunkin Donut maybe he's a bit more healthy than that maybe, maybe a shandy <laughs> we'll allow you one of them Cyrus no, congratulations thank you very much, appreciate well done to you mate thank you see you soon